In this video, I'm gonna be exposing the best kept tripod secret for the top tripod on the market that you probably haven't even heard of yet. I'm gonna be putting it to the ultimate test so that you can see if it's the right fit for you coming up. So this is the Photo Pro Global Elite LG9R, and I've been using this for over a year now. So I'm actually using this tripod and I've tested it in some of the harshest conditions around the world. I have a tripod graveyard in my closet and it's because I've never found a tripod that actually fits the extremes of the places that a lot of photographers go until now. Now the overall feel of this tripod is really good. It's sturdy, it's a carbon fiber, and it comes with the ball head on top, which we'll get to in just a little while in the video. But it never felt flimsy or like it was going to come apart or any of the dials on here were actually loose at all. Some of my other tripods, even the leg clasps here, got a little bit loose and felt like they were always going to come to pieces, but not with this tripod. Being a carbon fiber tripod, it is much lighter than aluminum tripods. It's also a four section tripod, which just means that the leg extend in four different sections in each one of the three legs. You also have multiple leg clasps that stop the legs from extending. Really, if I mean, I'm pulling really hard here. So when it's right up against these, they're not gonna go anywhere, but you can easily extend that and make the tripod lower to the ground by extending these. And again, they're really hard to get off. Now this tripod doesn't have a center column, which means it would have a column column that would go up and down on the bottom to extend this even taller. The reason why I don't like those is because they can get a little bit flimsy in the wind. I did a full wind test on this coming up a little bit later in the video, but the flimsiness of those center columns makes the tripod that much less sturdy and any wind going on with a long exposure would cause blurring in your photo and ruin it overall. So I didn't want a center column and I think the best tripods don't have them. Let's do a height test to see how tall this tripod actually is. On the listing it says it's actually extending all the way up to 76.49 inches. Now I'm six foot five, I'm a tall photographer, so I want a max extension that's going to not have me bend over and lean over all the time whenever I'm out shooting, which can be really annoying and cause me a lot of neck pain. I want a tall tripod, but also one that can get me into small places. If I extend this all the way, actually brought my own tape measure out here. So going all the way down with the legs fully extended and in an actual spot where you would use them, this is actually only at about 62 inches. Now, why are we off several inches here? It's because when they do the max height, they're doing the max height from when the legs are stacked up like this. If I do it like this, then yeah, it's probably going to be around 76 inches down to the bottom definitely around that height. So it's disappointing that it's not actually as tall as they say it is because no one's actually gonna use their tripod like this unless you're using it as a monopod, but no one really does that. If you have the legs fully extended, it's only going to be to that 62 marker. But hey, 62 inches still doesn't have me bending over and leaning over. I have the camera right here in front of my face that I can easily use it at. Let's also not forget the minimum height here. So the listed minimum height is 8.5 inches. Obviously stacked like this, it's not going to be 8.5 inches. This is more like 28 inches. But here's the thing, if you remember these legs really being able to extend to a very wide position, if we extend all of these legs out, remember they're really sturdy, we can actually get them all the way out to the ground like this. And at that, it's definitely 8.5 inches. Let me test. Yep, 8.5 on the dot. So these can get extremely low to the ground for those extreme low perspectives if you're doing macro photography or you're trying to shoot up at the forest canopy. All of our camera gear stacked onto a tripod can also get extremely heavy. So I wanted to do the weight durability test on this to see if it could actually carry a solid camera. The weight carry depends on how much is locked onto the bottom of this plus onto the top because it does have this hook where you can attach your camera bag as a weight or a place to hold your camera bag because in the wind, you don't want this to shake around. So if you add weight to it, it weighs it down so you don't get any camera shake in the wind. So the way I wanted to test this was with an average weight of a camera, and that's about 12 pounds. So I got a kettlebell and did it at five pounds and then all the way to the 12 pound weight, and it did very well. It was sturdy, didn't move, could hold the weight very easily. And this camera bag is actually well over 12 pounds. It's probably getting closer to the 20 pound range. So the Photo Pro Global Elite definitely passes the weight test when you consider the listing max weight on this is over 55 pounds. 
If you're liking what you're seeing about the PhotoPro Global Elite and you wanna learn more, there's a link down in the video description and in the pinned comment for you to check that out. We aren't sponsored by PhotoPro, but we do get a little bit of a kickback if you use that link to purchase to help the channel continue to make good quality review videos like this. Now, I mentioned wind just a little while ago, and wind can be one of the biggest factors to how durable a tripod actually is because wind can ruin a photo. Any camera shake is going to dismantle a photo that you wanted to take. So for that, I wanted to do a wind test. So what I did was extend the tripod to full max height, and I took my blower, which blows 60 mile an hour wind out, and I used this on it max extended with the legs out wide. The tripod didn't budge. I was really pleased to see that. But I also wanted to know how much could this tripod actually take? So I put the legs all the way in, like it says its max height is at 76 inches, and I balanced that precariously, and it still took a while for the blower to actually have any effect on the tripod whatsoever. It finally did blow over when I held the blower right up next to it, but it did stay up for a long time, which was great to see with a durable tripod like this. It can definitely handle any wind that you put it up against. Let's talk about this tripod's legs all the way down to its feet. Now, I have issues with some of these leg extension twists that come on here or clasp because when my hands get really cold, it's hard to turn these because they're so tight. What I like about these is they're so big and they have these nice ridges on them that even though my hand is still cold and it does hurt to turn these a little bit, they're easily grabbable and claspable and they just easily snatch into place and you can fully extend this really, really quickly. Again, this is a four leg extension. So you're always gonna have tons of length with these and tons of maneuverability. Coming down here to the feet, I don't think feet on tripods are a really big deal. A lot of companies will include like other feet, like those really hard knifey clasps that can get into ice and snow. But I really just always keep these rubber tips on, so I don't think feet are that big of a deal, although you do get some other feet options when you do get this tripod. But feet to me on tripods is kind of just a moot point because if something's slippery, it's just gonna be slippery. Finally, the ball head. This is what I think sets this tripod apart from any other tripod on the market. To really test out this ball head, I'm gonna put my heaviest camera and my heaviest lens on it to see if it can really hold the weight and do everything that it promises to. So it's an Arca Swiss connection tripod, which just means you have those slots to put your lens or camera into, and it works with any kind of L bracket, really. So this is a massive setup here. This is probably about eight pounds on here. But what I really like about this ball head is you can flip this switch down on the side and move this around very easily. Now you also have a dial over here that controls how much movement that you have on this ball head going from left to right or right to left and that's going to help you out a lot with those panoramas with this ball head too. Also there's a little level right here but levels are kind of a moot point because we have levels on the back of our cameras now so who really needs them on tripods anyways. Two other features about this ball head that I really like. Number one is the actual dial where you can loosen and tighten the ball in the ball head so it's really easy to grab. A lot of them have just those grips but again like I said with grips, my hands get cold, they're hard to turn. I like this one because it has this big, wide, almost like an S bracket that I can grab and really put some torque on to tighten and get everything really, really still. And then if I wanna loosen it, very easy to just loosen and wobble everything and readjust it. Now, the other thing on this ball head that I love is if you see right here, there's a little button that says press. What this button does is it allows me to extend the camera connection, the Arca Swiss plate connection, a little bit more. So if you do it all the way in, you can only extend it a certain amount. But then if you press this button, it goes a little bit further to get those wider plates in there, and you can just slide your camera in and have it secure. That also lets me know that if I just undo this a little bit, it's not going to come out until I press this button. That keeps my camera safe, and that makes this ball head a lot more durable than others. So the ultimate question, should you get this tripod? Yes, but there are two questions that you have to answer first. Am I able to carry the weight? 
because still being a carbon fiber tripod, this tripod is still really heavy. It's a beast. Now I've taken it on airplanes, no problem, but it is still a burden to carry and it's much heavier than some of the other carbon fiber tripods on there. Here's the second question you have to answer and can I afford it? Because this tripod is super expensive. That's a huge drawback. I've never understood why tripods cost so much money, but if you can afford it and if you can carry the weight, this tripod ticks every single box that you would want out of a tripod. And again, it's probably a tripod that not many people know about already. Hey, if you want more gear reviews that are gonna help you choose the right gear, click this video that's really gonna help you out.